welcome guys and welcome back to the channel today guys nhd has application open for 941 housing solutions in six housing schemes the housing developments are silver sun estate phase three that is located in rolling st catherine plains you have money musk country estate which is located in hayes clarendon hummingbird meadows located in birds hill clarendon perth estate located off perth road mandeville manchester industry cove which is located northeast of green island in hanover you have estuary estate which is located in friendship st james so these six housing developments give you a total of 940 41 housing solutions that are available today guys i'll be walking you through the application process so let's get right into it but before we get into it guys you're gonna need two pieces of document to complete this application process and these documents are one you're gonna need your trn card which has your trn number and two you're gonna need your nis card which is your national insurance scheme card um just for the trn your driver's license can work as substitute since both pieces of document because uses the same number all right guys so let's dive into the application process all right guys so the first thing you're gonna do is open your internet browser and in the address bar you're gonna type in nht.gov.jm and you're gonna go to the nht website now here at the home page you will go down and you're gonna click apply for a scheme all right guys so after clicking that link you'd be brought to the application page and this is step one so here it says please select the scheme you're applying for select one of the scheme solution presented where applicable select a location option and or for floor option so all right so here we have the list of schemes that are available you have hummingbird meadows housing development you have pert phase 1a housing development money musk country estate housing development the estuary phase two housing development industry cove housing development and silver sun estate phase three so for the purpose of this video i'll be selecting hummingbird meadows housing development that is in mapen clarendon and now you have application type you're going to choose whichever one applies to you so you're going to choose either you're applying on your own or one applicant applying jointly with someone else two applicants or applying via via parent assist my parent is assisting me to acquire a house so i'm going to select on my own and are you requesting a crtd loan all right guys the crtd loan is a contributions refund to deposit facility which allows you to access contributions not yet due to be refunded as an additional loan to be used as a deposit towards the purchase of a housing solution so if you are if you are requesting a crtd loan the nhd will apply the amount you have available in calculating your affordability all right now next so i'm gonna select yes i want to use my points um how much crtd funds are available you're gonna you're gonna calculate how much money you have contributed to nhd so far and i'm gonna estimate it to be a hundred and seventy thousand dollars right there and do you have all right so right do you have a savings available to contribute to your purchase I'm going to say no, uh, but guys, if you have money in the bank that you were saving towards paying a deposit on a home or to buy a house and you want to use it towards purchasing the, any of these schemes, you're going to select yes. Um, but for me, I'm going to put no for the purpose of this video. And next, TRN, you're gonna, I'm going to put in my TRN information and NIS. And select a title, Mr. First Name, Middle Name, Last Name, and Gender, Male, Date of Birth, Place of Birth, you're going to select the parish. Have you ever been, have you 
have you had a name change by a marriage or deed poll that's it. if it's yes for you you put yes it's no for me marital status i'm gonna put never married tell mobile number and the home number i'm gonna leave that blank my home address i'm gonna put that in put the parish All right, so address where you receive letters, same as home address. If it's different for, your, for you, you're gonna put in a different address. All right, email address. And next of kin, gonna put in your next of kin information. So I'm just gonna say, Jane Doe. None of uh, this information that I'm putting in is false, but you put in your real next of kin and contact details home only. I'm gonna put makeup home number and address Jackie Lane. So Jackie Lane, Bruce Field, I'm spelling field wrong, if I ELD, I'm going to select a parish, I don't know where Bruce Field is, wait, I'm going to put Clarendon, and first, so you're going to put contact person now, you can put up to two, but I'm going to put one. All right, um, Jesse, Jesse Lou, primary contact number, makeup number again. Because I'm not really applying for a house, I'm just showing you guys the application process. So, now guys, this part is very, very important. The part that's the part that says housing status. So, guys, if you're a homeowner, in any way shape or form and you have a title with your name on it you won't be able to get any nhd um any of any of these nhd housing scheme here it says this application is open to non-home owners only and they're very serious about that all right so so if you if you have partnered with someone before to purchase a house and your name is on the title you won't be you won't be eligible if your name is just on any housing title you won't get you won't be able to get one of these houses all right so here you said have you ever received a home loan from the national housing trust i'm gonna say no are you the registered owner of any house no have you ever joined with or co-applied with anyone who has obtained the nhd mortgage no all right the house you live in do you i'm gonna say um rent and the amount i how much do you pay for the rent or lease monthly? 12,000. How many bedrooms? One. Including yourself, how many persons do you support financially? I'm going to say one. Um, what is your main occupation? I'm going to put police officer. Employment status employed. All right. So name of place where you currently work gonna say ministry of national security and branch office slash location gonna say may pen may pen police station and address may pen Clarendon telephone number 876 I'm not sure of Maypen's police station number but I'm just putting a number how long have you been employed to this company um, so you're gonna put the date so it's the 19 of February 
2012. What is your gross income before tax? Uh, $218,000 a month. How often do you receive the amount above monthly? Have you worked anywhere else in the past? No. And next. All right, so now we got, we're at qualification summary. So here it shows my name, the con amount of any contributions I have. So I've contributed 493 times to the NHD or the amount of contributions I've made. Um, points, my points are 260. My interest rate is 4% and terms unit, the term unit, that is how many years I would get to pay off the loan and I would get 40 years term lot 20 years affordability so the amount of loan the, so affordability and for the unit the, that's the amount of money NHT is willing to lend me so NHT would lend me 17 million three hundred and eighty six thousand seven hundred and fifty five dollars and fifty four cents and affordability to purchase a lot NHT would lend me 11 million nine hundred and ninety one thousand four hundred and sixty eight dollars and forty five cents and my loan limit is for units would be 15 mil and loan limit for a lot would be 8 mil all right so over to the right here they're saying the following options are available based on the information you provided please select two choices so now i get to choose if i want the one bedroom regular lot or one bedroom medium lot so i'm gonna put the one bedroom medium lot i don't know if the regular is bigger than the medium but i'm gonna put medium hold on let me check detach 134 square feet square feet i'm gonna put medium the price is nine mil 9.3 mil and the second choice if I don't get my first choice would be the one bedroom regular lot. Okay. And next is if the solution you choose are not available, would you like to be assigned any other solution that is available in the scheme? I would say yes. And next. All right. So now we are at the review period where we get to review our application. So the scheme that I've applied for, Hummingbird Meadows Housing Development, I applied for the one bedroom medium lot. So the size is 434 square feet. The price is 9.3 mil. And yep, second choice, my uh, solution, second choice, Hummingbird Meadows Housing Development, one bedroom, regular lot, size 434 square feet, um, uh, price 909 mil. And do you have available savings? No, accept any solutions available? Yes. And they're showing all my other information here that I will blur. That is my Terran, NIS, title, first name, middle name, last name, and name change, no. So this is basically you just reviewing the application to ensure that everything that you've entered is correct. You made no mistakes. Please guys, ensure that you double check your application because any simple form of error and you'll have problems. All right, so I'm just re reviewing the process and when you're done, you're gonna say under here, there's a under section 37 of the National Housing Trust Act 1979. Any person who obtains a loan by means of false rep representations, that means if you say you don't, you don't own a house and you actually own a house, and your name is on a title they're talking about persons who do something like that so obtains a loan by means of false representation or willfully applies applies any loan made to him slash her to any purpose other than the purpose for which the loan was made shall be guilty an offense and shall be liable on summer conviction in a resident magistrate court to a fine not exceeding thirty thousand dollars or in default of payment or imprisonment with or without hard labor for a term not exceeding 12 months in addition such person shall forfeit any nht benefit received i slash we declare that the information entered on this website is true so that's why you're gonna you're gonna ensure that everything that you enter is correct because you can go to jail if you if you tell a lie if you tell some lies on your application form all right so i'm gonna we're gonna click yes 
I slash we agree that the information submitted is correct and you're gonna click submit I'm not gonna click submit because I'm not applying for a scheme and okay guys any questions you have be sure to ask in the comment section I always ensure that I read all the comments I try to reply to all of them all that actually requires um, a, a response I ensure that I reply to them I must disclaimer I am not I don't work for NHD I, I, I only know I only have knowledge or how to assist persons with NHD based off my personal experience with them since I am in the process currently in the process of buying a house through nhd so that's how that is how i know how to do a lot of these stuff when it comes to nhd so any questions you have feel free drop them in the comment section below if i don't know the answer i will take up my phone i will call nhd and say yo um how is this done what does this mean and so and so so i can accurately advise you guys and i try my best not to give any any false information on this channel so thanks again for watching the video if you like it drop a like on it if you're new to the channel entry hit the subscribe button guys and until next time i will see you